In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. to participate in this most sacred supper in which your only begotten son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant we pray that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to those who are bound. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you. Now the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The Gospel of the Lord. I had prepared a lot of things to share with you about 10 pages because I don't know summary. <laughs> I think most of the times we are more concerned with ourselves. I. I. Me. Myself. How many times do we see the needs of our brothers in, in our community? There are times in our lives, especially we as Franciscans, when I'm okay, then it's okay. If you have eaten, then it's okay. If you have done well, then it's okay. 
it is by sharing our blessings, our talents, our time, health and wealth with others that we become true disciples of Christ and obey his new commandment of love. Loving one another as he has loved us. But what kind of love do we have? It's calculated love. What can I benefit? Sometimes we love because there is an interest. The love of Christ is an unconditional love. I love you as you are. Most of us, we love with a condition. I love my formator because he writes me a good report. I love my friend because he shares what he has. What about if those things are not there? I love St. Bonaventure because immediately when you put a condition, that is not love. Accept your brother, accept your formator as a gift given to you by God. St. Francis will say, the Lord gave me brothers. Take them as they are, accept them. Let me not be the first. Let others be the first. Some of us want always to be number one. This is the time. Let others be first. Even when you are going for an outing, you want always to be first at that, chair, uh, that seat. You hold even the, your hand like this to be at the, that, that first. Even when you are not a goalkeeper, you want to wear just one. <laughs> You are not a goalkeeper. So let us be, let us be considerate, my dear brothers, uh, especially today as we celebrate this special feast of saving others. It is high time we started considering ourselves as last, not always as first, as we continue our mass. the church, and that the church, the bride of Christ, may be more fully cleansed by his blood in this time of his passion. Let us pray to the Lord. to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Thank you. 